All right, I guess. What is going on? Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Reviews. Feels like it's been a long time since I made a video, and it probably has been. Probably been about two weeks since I've actually like thrown, thrown, and finally had the time. The in-laws decided to take the kids for the weekend. Uh, my wife's working right now, so hey, I get to throw. Uh, also, I had a little delay. I bought a car like an idiot. Used to ride bikes, bought a car, and uh, you know, cars have problems. So it was sitting in the driveway for a while until I got it fixed. Anyway. Whatever. Uh, let's do a video today. Let's do a little bag review here. I uh, just got these a week or two ago. Took them in a trade. Um, these are the Cornhole Scenario Cat 3s. Probably their most popular bag, I would say. Uh, Cornhole Scenario, you guys know them. Uh, people, people have issues with the wait time. I don't like the wait time much either, but their bags are just ridiculously high quality. So uh, these are ACL Pro stamped. They are used, and I'm not entirely sure of the break-in method uh, to be used, but we'll get to that in point two there. Uh, but they did show up to be used. But no harm, no foul on that one. Uh, let's get into price. Price, they're 100 bucks from a cornhole scenario. You're probably going to wait between six and seven months to get them. I know it's terrible. That's just what it is right now. Hopefully, they can speed it up at some point, but they do make a high-quality bag, so... If you want them, you wait. Uh, secondary market, I don't see Cat 3s go for anything less than 200 bucks. You know, they're normally between two to 250 to sometimes three, depending on design. Sometimes more, I guess it just totally depends. Uh, they're expensive, but they're good bags. Like I said, this is probably their most popular uh, series, the Cat 3. So speeds, we have a seven on the slow side and a nine on the fast side. They're not crazy fast. I mean, that nine is quick. The seven kind of feels quick, but also controllable. Like it plays more like a six ish to me. Uh, I don't have my cat twos right now. I let my partner take him to a tournament that I can't go to, of course. Uh, but I would love to throw them side by side just to see, cause they actually feel pretty close to me, but it's not a crazy speed. You know, like I think Vipers actually play quicker than these do. So that's just me. Uh, I also think these are more susceptible to like humidity. So the slow side starts to get pretty sticky when it's humid out, but it's still, it's a solid material. They're good. I, I do rather enjoy them. Uh, 3S, we have fill feel and flop. The fill is awesome. It's that, you know, kind of disc-like fill, asymmetrical disc-like fill. Uh, the feel, Cornhole Scenario makes ridiculous bags. They feel awesome. The materials are high quality. The stitching is beautiful. Uh, everything about them just feels really, really good. It, it's hard to nitpick a bag like this because they're, they're just really really that good. And the flop, they do get fairly floppy. Uh, these ones aren't wild. I mean, they're kind of floppy, but they're also, you know, fairly full. Um, I'm not going to say as full as a widow or something like that. There may be like 357, like Gen 1 357, maybe. Um, probably Viper-ish, but a little more, maybe Viper C, kind of in that area. Uh, playability, you might be able to rock some blocks and pushes with these. You're not going to be doing flops, rolls, anything like that, but blocks and pushes, you're definitely going to slither around, fall into the back. You're going to push through and drop everything in. You might be able to push through bags and kind of squeeze through opponent's bags if they're right in the perfect spot to be able to do so, you know, kind of like Vipers and Cat 2s do. You might be able to pull it off, but these are definitely, they're a four in the hole or kind of block and then push them in kind of bag. So let's toss them a little bit, see how it goes. Uh, I haven't thrown a ton today. I kind of just came out through a little couple down and backs and decided, hey, I should probably pop a couple videos out and get some in the queue. So let's start on the slow side. I do have a little bit of wind. It's not bad. It's more like a breeze. I will say that. And it's going directly at the camera. Uh, it's really not too bad though. So you might see a couple front boards this side, but I mean, every video you see front boards. So what's the difference there, right? So let's go slow side here. See, it, it doesn't punish you. I missed. It didn't punish me. I do throw them a little higher than usual. You know, I kind of put a little loft on these. Ah, I missed that one. I do loft them a little bit just because they are a speedier bag. Get up. I'm not even going to call it a front board because it barely even made it to the front of the board. So you guys can make your jokes, but jokes on you because it barely even touched the board. Um, I do loft them a little bit. They are quick, but they're not lightning. Okay. But they're incredibly hole friendly, both sides. I haven't had an issue 
with these bags hanging up nearly at all. Uh, they just like to go in. They land, eh, give it a little much. They land super, super soft. Um, it's kind of, I missed that one too. It's kind of hard to explain. So these bags, if you're a thrower that doesn't really throw a great flat bag or kind of throws a bag on end, stuff like that, these bags would actually be really good for you because they land so soft and they're just going to do what you want them to do. They're, they're not going to kick. They're not going to act funny. They're just, they kind of just land soft and just compress and just go. So let's go slick side here. Yeah. Definitely got to loft them a little bit and, uh, there it is. Slide in. See, they're, they're nice. Miss that one. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not throwing amazing. I don't usually throw amazing, but I really haven't thrown for almost two weeks. Um, I threw the other night for maybe a half hour. My uh, mom and stepdad decided to come over and hang out and get dinner, and he wanted to throw. So we did, but wasn't very much. And that was actually the first time I'd thrown in literally two weeks. Um, so that's exactly what I mean by they land soft. The whole bag didn't land on the board. So that bag will stay there. You know, it's not going to hit and like roll up and do its thing. It's, they land so soft that if any of the bag doesn't hit the board, it's not going anywhere. It's just going to hit and stop. And that makes, you know, a tough shot being on the right side here, but shouldn't have much of an issue getting around it. Get up. Almost did it twice. Oh, whiff. That speed will get you. I mean, if you don't loft them enough. Oh boy, what a horrible round of throwing. You guys didn't see that, that's fine. You're more concerned about what I'm saying with the bags than I'm actually throwing, aren't you? Um, guess I can give you a close up, forgot to do that. I'd, I like to do that on videos if I can. This color wave isn't my favorite, I will say that. Uh, they have a lot cooler color waves, but I got such a ridiculously good trade on them that I couldn't say no. Uh, so it is what it is. You know, I, I might keep them. I might train them for something else. I'm not entirely sure. I flip back to slow side here. I'm just, I'm trying to find their spot in my bag and if they can have a spot in my bag. Get up. There's a legit front board. I'm trying to see if they can. I mean, they, when you hit the board and you do what you're supposed to do, they go in. It's wild. They make really nice bags. They do. Cornhole scenario, everybody gives them crap. And a lot of people know I'm kind of a fanboy. I'm a big fan of Cornhole scenario. I am. Their, their bag quality is just top notch. Most of their bags are more geared toward a speedier player. Um, you know, the Mantis being an exception. Um, holy crap. Mantis is a 5.7. Uh, the Friction is also geared toward kind of slower but it's more of like a four to five and then nine i believe it's the cat three fast side with the mantis slow side uh, which i can actually get on board with but a lot of the cat bags get in thank you looks like i'm just going two on two off that's whatever a lot of the cat bags are geared toward quicker throwers I know that like the Schizo and the Schizo X, they are actually slower bags. They're like a one or two on the slow side, maybe a three. Um, but they're they're kind of wild because on the fast side, it's like a nine or a ten or something. But a lot of the cats, you know, fours go up higher. Fives are like an eight, ten, maybe something like that. I'm kind of just making this up, honestly. Um, I had sevens and they were rated at a, I believe they were rated at like a seven to eight and then a ten and a half or something like that. To me, they played like a 610, but they're, you know, cats make quicker bags for the most part. Get up. Wind was blowing on my back, and I sallied it. So, totally missed that one. Stayed on the board. Slow side is not bad at all. And it's still incredibly hole friendly. So, they are a really nice bag. If you like a fuller feeling, fairly floppy bag, these might be right up your alley. They're really nice. Um, I don't hate them. 
no way do I hate these. I might prefer my Cat 2s over these, and that's why I don't really know if they find a place or not. But they are just overall good bags. Get up. Oh, I'm making it hard on myself. Way off. All right, let's just airmail it. End it. Yeah, they don't airmail anyway. They knock them all off. No, they're awesome bags. They really are. It's like I said, I haven't thrown in almost two weeks, and the sad part is I'm gonna make like four or five videos tonight because I need to. Because I need to get some stuff going, and I actually have the time. But it is what it is. You guys don't come for uh, stellar throwing, so that's cool. Uh, but cat threes. I mean, if you know, you know. It's kind of one of those. I do recommend that everybody try to get their hands on them and try to throw them at some point, whether you're at a blind draw or a tournament, your buddies have them, you know, somebody local is willing to let you try them for a week or something, you know, it's awesome at your house. They're just, they're pretty cool bags. I think everyone really does need to give them a try. Throw them, just see what it's all about. If you don't like them, then, hey, you're not all about the cat hype, and that's okay. But I really think they're a quality bag, and if you're like, if you're a pro sniper thrower, if you are a vipers thrower, something like that, I think you should really give them a shot. I am a huge fan. I, I can't say it enough, honestly. And no, I'm not sponsored. I paid for all my cats by myself, or I traded for them. Uh, it's just, I like them quite a bit. So with that, we can rack it up. We're not going to rack it up. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, that is the short and sweet on the Cornell scenario. Cat three, um, if you guys like this video, just give me that thumbs up, share it with your buddies, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.